Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is another very exciting video. So this is another wedding vlog. Sorry if my hair looks a bit ratty. I had a shower this morning and I'm just letting my hair air dry today because A, I don't have my hair dryer and B, it is such a beautiful day outside. Like it's just blue skies, it's hot, the sun's shining and there's like barely a cloud in sight. This wedding vlog I'm probably going to film over a few days. Um, I have an idea of what I want to put in this video like I've written a few things down on my phone but we'll kind of see what happens but I thought I would start off today because I just received an exciting package in the mail so if you guys watched my last wedding vlog and um, which if you didn't um, I'll link it down below I let you guys know that I had to change the company of my bridesmaids dresses so originally I was gonna go with kilt um, because when I was talking to them they did like a custom bridesmaid range of dresses in different colors that they could do um, however now they don't do that which really sucks it made things really complicated for me because if you guys haven't watched any of my other wedding videos before i'm having three different colors of my bridesmaids dress but i want them all to be the same style of dress so they're all very autumnal and they're like specific shades that i'm kind of looking for so i really had to hunt to find a company that have really nice bridesmaids dresses to start off with like nice quality and nice styles but that would also do them in a wide variety of colors which is not easy to find but I googled and I found the JJ's house website now I know that a lot of people have ordered their bridesmaids dresses off of here and they have had good luck with their dresses and the quality has been really good so I ordered some swatches for dress colors I think it was like two weeks ago now and they've finally arrived so I thought I'd open them with you guys and we'll just kind of have a look and see see how the swatches are looking. I'm hoping that these swatches are gonna be okay but I really wanted to order the swatches first um, before I went ahead and ordered the dresses just to check the color and the quality and all those kind of things. Ooh, I am so happy actually these look really good. Okay this is what they look like. So yeah obviously I got three swatches because I have three bridesmaids. I'll show you guys them up close. So this is how they come packaged. So you have the little JJ's house at the top. So this one says chiffon slash satin slash taffeta slash charmeuse. Charmeuse? I don't know. I don't know fabrics very well. But this one is in the gold shade, which I'm actually really happy with. I was a bit nervous for this shade and this shade in particular, but I thought the burgundy would be really nice. But I'm really happy with that. And then I've got the orange one which comes in chiffon and satin so it looks like all of them come in chiffon and satin so maybe I'll choose between those two fabrics it looks like in the actual packs you get however many different fabrics that they give you up the top and then the last one is this burgundy one which comes in chiffon satin and charmeuse I think and like if you look at them all together like this color palette is really really nice very autumnal these swatches cost me $15 all together including shipping and I did just Google search a discount code as well so really happy with that they're really affordable um, and even the dresses I feel like are really affordable for bridesmaids dresses and they have a huge selection and I think most of the dresses you can get in like 50 different colors or something like it's insane Ooh! so you've got the chiffon which is a little bit sheer you've got the satin loving the satin i think the satin is stunning and oh this one's really nice too the like charmeuse or charmeuse i really don't know how to pronounce that and i have also told my or asked my bridesmaids if they could get a denim jacket as well because i'm gonna have a denim jacket and i'm gonna have all my bridesmaids wearing denim jackets just so that they're not cold when we're like doing photo shoots or at the reception or anything they actually feel really good quality as well so 
I'm definitely feeling more confident about ordering my bridesmaids dresses on this website and now the next step obviously is just to order my bridesmaids dresses in these colors and then I think with my dress being white and the boys suits being navy it's just gonna be fantastic like it's gonna work really really well and then I also have one other update that I want to let you guys know today and then I probably will carry this vlog on tomorrow because I have a couple of things planned tomorrow with Phil that I want to do for this wedding vlog as well. But I wanted to let you guys know that I have finally booked a makeup artist. Now I cannot tell you how difficult this was because a lot of makeup artists I messaged like two or three weeks ago. I messaged straight away and they replied not having my date but then a couple I messaged and they didn't get back to me for like two to three weeks which is crazy so keep that in mind that some makeup artists may take a while to actually reply to your message and one of them replied to my message and didn't have my date available and then two others replied to me and said that they did have my date available. So I have ended up going with Tessa from Missy Moo Makeup. She's local to Hawke's Bay which is fantastic and she'll be coming out to do my makeup, my three bridesmaids makeup, potentially my mum if she wants her makeup done and our flower girl as well. I haven't really decided yet what makeup I want to wear on the day. I know that I want to wear false lashes but I can kind of put my inspo pictures here here of makeup looks that I actually really like but I'm not really too sure yet on specifics for myself or my bridesmaids so obviously I will take you guys along to like the makeup trial when I end up doing that as well super super happy that I've finally booked a makeup artist because that is a massive stress off me so yeah all I have left to do for my portion of like myself and my girls is just to get the bridesmaids dresses and then Phil and I will be able to come back back together and start saving for like the bigger things like the wedding rings and like full payments for things. We also want to get our invites printed out very soon as well um because we did the test print in my last wedding vlog. So I think that's all I'm going to film for today's portion of this wedding vlog and I will carry this vlog on tomorrow. So Hello friends. So it is the following day and Phil and I, as you guys would have just seen, have been driving today and we're currently at the Grace bookstore um, at my old church just because we want to try and find some like marriage related books. Yeah. So you don't just want to focus on the wedding day, you want to focus on the wedding as well. You mean the marriage as well. What did I say? You said you don't want to focus on just the wedding day, you want to focus on the wedding oh. as well. <laughs> The marriage, I mean. You want to focus on the marriage as well, because the marriage lasts a lifetime. Yeah, I'm one of my last vlogs. I'm not sure if it will be my last vlog or another vlog by the time this video goes up. But in one of my vlogs, we did a marriage prep yeah. course with my current pastor from my church up in Auckland. And there were two sessions of it. And in the second session, which I didn't record, they gave us some like book recommendations that they think are helpful for couples that are engaged to like read before you get married. So we're just going to go in and see what we can find. We are also planning on going to the Mana bookstore in Hastings, Hastings yeah. as well, which is a Christian bookstore. So just go have a look and see what we can find. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't really have too many books for engaged couples in at the moment. A lot of marriage books. A lot of books, yeah, about yeah. marriage for like people that have 
already like, already married. But there's a lot of good ones for like dating, for men, for women, mm -hmm. counseling books, books about the end, Bibles, like they've got heaps. But we did manage to get one book, which is kind of the only book that they had. And that is this one here. So this one is Preparing for Marriage God's Way by Wayne A. Mack. Don't really know. This wasn't on our list that we were looking for, but it seems good and it's got like little bits where you can like write stuff in. So we'll probably just go through this together, eh? Yep. And see how we go. So we're gonna end up going to the Mana store in Hastings, but I'll let you guys know if we end up getting any books in there. Yeah. Because I probably won't film in there. Hello friends, so I have come back to Phil's place and we ended up picking up one more book in the Mana Christian shop. Their selection on like marriage books wasn't a lot, like they didn't have too many, but they do have a couple more that I am eyeing up. I think one of them is called The Art of Marriage and then the other book I really want to pick up is the Five Love Languages book. Phil and I have done a love language test, but my like first love language Language, whatever you want to call it, is acts of service and I believe Phil's one is quality time. We'll need to re-go over it and make sure we know each other's um, and kind of get to know each other's love language a little bit. But the book that we picked up is this one here. So this one is Marriage That Works by Chip Ingram and it's only like 10 bucks. But it's got good things like it's got stepping in as a woman, is there a man in the house, what's a man to do. How to make it through hard times, building a bright future together, God's design for marriage. So it should be a good read. So Phil and I will work on those two books together. So yeah, that is all I'm going to film today. Um, and I will catch you guys when I carry this wedding vlog on next. Hello friends, so it is a different day to the previous day that you've just watched. It's actually a few days later than the clips you would have just watched. Today is the day that Phil and I, well Phil specifically, getting the suits. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a rundown of what is happening with the boys in their suits. So the boys are going to be buying their suits from Helen Steins, which is a really nice brand. So we're going to go into Napier this morning and Phil is going to get the suits. Today he's going to focus on the two groomsmen and obviously himself and his suit. So the boys are going to be wearing a navy kind of suit. So show you guys the colour um, and show you guys what we end up getting. The boys actually went in in April so I can put a photo of when they went in because they actually got um, measured and picked out the colour and everything. So that's what I have written down in my little wedding planner book. I've written down each of the boys and what their measurements are. So I think we're going to just take a photo of this or we might bring this book with us. And we're going to be getting them tailored at Helen Stein's as well because Helen Stein's do tailoring. So let's go into town and let's go to Helen Stein's. I'm not getting you in it, don't worry. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just filming the whole wedding thing. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. <laughs> this one really breathable because you've got a bit of a summer wedding, is that right? Autumn, yeah. Okay, autumn, yeah. okay. <laughs> but the original one will you know, obviously was just one picture. Yeah. So that's like the sun cave-ish place that you're really cool. Yeah. So, it's more... do we still want to stick with the original? Cool thing, yeah, you because know, that was more of a darker, um, maybe in a small sort of light. What one are you leaning more towards? 
Mm. I kind of like the lighter one, to be honest. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can see the difference in here. I think that's what maybe what we fit with originally with the hunting for a skinny fit for you and then we can always like again try back into the slim back to a 96 yeah. that. That's cool, okay. So now we know that in the regular slim fit is about 96 to 92 between sizes. If you feel it's too between sizes, I would recommend just go to the skinny fit and marine exactly. That's right. Very nice. Yeah. This looks good, Beth. Yeah, that's nice. mm. yeah. I think that, yeah, that, this is the one. Yeah, this looks really nice. Absolutely. Mm. And you've got your bottom here as well, so you can put it up like that. Yeah. So here would I only wear it with the, just yeah. the top button. So oh, okay. I know, it's just a fashion thing. Oh, yeah. okay. friends so it is a little bit later on in the day now it is probably about three o'clock now um phil and i finished up at helen stein's at about 11 30 so i thought i'd just give you guys a bit of a rundown of kind of what happened i also just want to say a massive thank you to, to a couple of people the first person being the lady that gave us an hour free parking this morning have no idea who you are but if you happen to stumble upon this video thank you so much that was really sweet of you and the second person i wanted to thank is hayley so Hayley was the um, woman at Helen Steins that was helping Phil and I with the suits. Sorry if you can hear that dog outside. Apparently she was the one that helped when Phil and the boys went in earlier in the year um, and Phil felt really confident with her because she's very knowledgeable about suits and everything. So he definitely felt in good hands. Yeah, I just wanted to thank her as well. So if you happen to watch this video, Hayley, thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate your help. Phil and Hayley <laughs> knew what suits they had tried on pre Previously. However, they have a new like linen, I think it's like a linen range of suits for this season and they happen to do the linen in a navy. So Phil wanted to try it on and just compare. So you guys would have seen there are a couple of clips where we were comparing the two suits, like the colours and everything. So the linen one is just like a shade lighter navy than the original suits that they were looking at and we were kind of just playing around with sizing and then we eventually found his um, right fitting suit and everything. It looks so good. He looks really good in the suit. So I'm super excited to walk down the aisle to him in that suit. And then we kind of talked over like belts and um, pocket squares and ties as well. So he has decided that he is going to go for a more navy blue and white striped tie. And then the other boys are just going to be wearing a plain navy tie so phil's one is a little bit different to theirs but it will just make him stand out a little bit more being the groom and the pocket squares phil ended up getting a white one obviously to match my dress and then i will go into probably spotlight um with my wedding swatches that you guys would have seen earlier in this video my bridesmaids dresses and i'll get them to kind of cut fabric that's the same kind of color for the other guys so that it's kind of like the corresponding groomsman to bridesmaid the bridesmaid's dress will match their pocket squares as they walk back down the aisle together after phil and i that's kind of the plan yeah we ended up going for the newer suits the like light linen navy blue which i think will be really nice because the linen is a lot more breathable than the other suits they had originally chosen so that was really good um i really really like it i I think it'll pop a lot nicer with my bridesmaids colors and with my dress so phil obviously purchased his suit so we purchased the jacket the shirt the pants phil purchased his white pocket square and we purchased all three ties for phil and the two guys as well and then we also purchased one of the other groomsmen's suits but Haley just wants the boys to kind of come back in since it was april when they first went in and it is now October just to make sure that we've got all of their measurements correct and everything and one of our groomsmen we don't think he's put on or kind of changed in his weight over that time we've paid for his suit and we've got it on hold out the back so either Phil and him will go in together or he can just go in himself just let them know that it's for mine and Phil's wedding um, and they'll know where his suit is and then the other groomsman's suit um, we are just holding off a little bit on because 
he has injured himself at the moment so we want to wait until he's a little bit better so that he can go in and just double check with the sizing and everything so we've purchased two out of the three suits which is good super happy i'm so happy that phil's suit is done um phil didn't actually end up needing any alterations because the suit pretty much fit him perfectly um i cannot remember his measurement just one other quick thing i have ordered some test envelopes as well so phil and i have ordered three different colors of test envelopes originally i wanted to do rust envelopes with our wedding invites but rust is proving very very hard to find um especially here in new zealand because i don't want to order them from like overseas because a lot of the time if you order it from overseas you can't order one you have to order like a bulk lot um, i ordered them last night so i will be able to show you guys when those come um and i'll be able to show phil and we can kind of decide what envelope colors we want because yeah the next steps at the moment are kind of just to print out our invites to size um, because if you guys didn't watch my last wedding vlog then you won't know but um we did a test print of our invites just to check colors and sizing and everything um and we need to go a little bit smaller in the size but the colors on the envelope are like uh, on the invites are like perfect like they're so good and i will probably update you guys next when the envelopes come hello friends so it is obviously a different day to the previous day where we went suit shopping i'm sorry if you can hear the neighbors in the background i feel like they're being quite loud and sorry if you can see a little fly buzzing around but i wanted to turn on the camera today because i just received a very exciting parcel this morning so this is one of two parcels that i am waiting on that contain envelopes so this particular one here is from envelope world and i think it is the more orangey envelope and i'm also waiting on a parcel from i think it's mycards.co.nz um with two more colors so i'm waiting on a gold and a green as well we obviously on the front want to write who to and then we kind of want to seal it with these cute little like gold heart stickers that I bought from Kmart. Part of a wedding group on Facebook, which I would highly recommend by the way if you are getting married, to join one of the wedding discussion groups on Facebook because I posted in there asking for recommendations of websites to try and find or like places to try and find rust envelopes. And Envelope World and my cards were what people suggested. So I thought I would open this package with you guys. It looks like it is disposable packaging, which is really nice. Um, I also wanted to test the sizing as well, because I know with our friends, when they did their invites, they were struggling to get the right size envelopes. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a test run and see how we go. Okay, so this is a little bit brighter than what I was kind of hoping for. Um, and we're kind of playing around with like the backs as well because ideally I do want one that kind of goes down and up like in a triangle just so that we can seal it with this. I asked Phil what colours he wanted to do and he said we'll try the orange, the green and the gold. So this is this kind of shade so it's actually a little bit brighter than what it's showing up on the camera but I feel like this is a good size. So yeah that's kind of all I have to show you guys right now. I will get Phil's opinion um, on this one and then I will turn this camera back on and carry this little envelope portion on again when my other parcel with the other two colors arrive um, and then I can kind of let you guys know what color we end up going for because obviously we want to make sure that I've got heaps in stock as well. Hello friends, so it is a couple days since I filmed my first like envelope unboxing. I've just received the second parcel. So these ones are from my cards. I believe are actually a business in Auckland. Come little packaged like this. I ordered these on Saturday. I think it was Saturday. It's Monday today, so they haven't taken too long to get here. Oh cool, sweet. So they've packaged it really nice. It's come with some bubble wrap. It's like the 1st of November now, like today. Um, and I'm hoping that we can get our invites out within like the next couple of weeks. Ooh, okay. The sizing looks good. So these are the two colors that I got. Oh, so they're both like that kind of back that I wanted. So I'll show you guys the gold one first. So I wanted to have a look at the gold, but we do have the gold stickers that we want to put at the back. I'm actually thinking I'm leaning more towards the green. So I believe this one is just called 
olive but it is a really nice kind of green and it's got that back that we want and I think it'll look nice with those little gold hearts and I was gonna give you guys an update as well so I showed Phil the orange one and he kind of agrees with me and thinks it's a little bit too bright for what we were after and he said he was leaning more towards the olive we just wanted to see what the olive actually looked like in person I actually think I'm leaning towards this color and they had heaps of these in stock as well so I will talk to Phil but I will write it on the screen whether we are deciding to go with these ones here or not but I really like this green I think the green is a nice alternative to rust. Oh my gosh, this is like just hit me like how soon this is all going to be happening. So these all together are the colours that we went for. So this is the kind of colour palette that we were trialling. Yes, I will show fill these and then I will update you guys probably a little bit later on this week or beginning of next week um, when we bulk order whatever envelope colour we want to go for and when we bulk print our invites. friends so it is a different day to the day that you previously watched I wanted to kind of update you guys a little bit because as you guys can see I have a couple packages here so I think my last clip was I think it was me kind of talking about the envelope colors and we were kind of deciding which ones to go with so we ended up going with the olivey green which you guys would have seen because I would have written it on the screen and we kind of just wanted to fully sort out the invites and and the envelopes this week because I do have to go back to Auckland next week and we wanted to get the invites done and out before I have to go back basically but yesterday Phil and I went into town actually no it was the day before yesterday Phil and I went into town and got our invites, our RSVPs and our wedding registry cards printed. And we went to two different places. So first off we went to Warehouse Stationery, which I think I mentioned in my last wedding vlog. Hopefully I'm in kind of the same position. I just changed over to my other battery, so hopefully this looks alright. Phil and I first off went into Warehouse Stationery and we were wanting to get everything printed. We were also wanting to get a couple of pens, like nice kind of like calligraphy kind of like fine liner pens because we haven't got our guests names printed on the invites because we thought it would be too hard to try and change the name every time basically so we thought we'd get a couple of nice pens so that we can write everyone's names on the invites really nicely so we ended up getting the pens from warehouse stationery so we got two different ones so i'll start off with this one here so we got one white pen because we thought black on the olive green isn't going to show up very well so we thought we'd write everyone's names on the envelopes with white so this is the pen that we got i have no idea if this is focusing or not i think it is there we go so this one is the faber castell pit art pen calligraphy and it just says white 101 so this is the kind of tip it's probably not going to focus because my camera struggles to focus so this one i think was around five dollars which is expensive for a pen but we just wanted a good quality pen um and then we also got a black pen as well so this one again was like five dollars so this is what this one looks like if it's going to want to focus there we go and then this is the the tip so it is very very fine this one is called the artline 200 fine and it's 0.4 we went to get everything printed at warehouse stationery they said that we had to like reformat our invites our rsvps and our registry cards because they didn't print in the sizes that we wanted so i took in the 
envelope, the test envelope, so that we could kind of get an idea of sizing and they wouldn't print the RSVPs and the invites in that size and business card size, they don't print there which was really annoying because I'm not very tech savvy and Phil isn't confident in kind of changing formats and stuff on the computer. And then I think they were wanting to print our invites and our RSVPs as photos because apparently the quality is really good but we need people to write on our RSVPs and send them back to us so we don't know if they can even write on a photo. So we thought we'll just try one other place in Napier and see if they can help us out a little bit because we kind of had a rough idea of what it was going to cost to get everything printed at warehouse stationery. Then it was also going to take us a lot of time to actually come back and try and reformat everything. We ended up going into Print Centre in Napier. It's kind of like that Coffee World place. And they ended up printing off our wedding invites, our RSVPs and our registry cards and we didn't have to change a single thing which was great. They were saying to us that they are used to this all the time where people come in with stuff that's the wrong format and they want them printed in a certain size and they can just do it there. So we dropped them in on Wednesday and they were ready to pick up yesterday afternoon. So today is currently Friday. I thought I would show you guys the sizes and stuff. I have already opened these up because I went to my mum's yesterday and I showed her. So I'll start off with our registry cards. So I'm obviously going to cover our registry website just for privacy reasons but this is the little card that it has come out like and then one of these is the invites and the other ones are the RSVPs. So our RSVPs are landscape. So this is the size that we ended up going for which fits perfectly with our invites envelopes actually I'll just show you guys so this is our envelope size and this is our RSVP size we've got our RSVPs and our invites the same size just because it will be so much easier so we got 60 of each so we do have a few spares um because obviously Phil and I want to keep a few just for the memories so our invites are portraits and we were deciding between two different types of card in the shop so we ended up going for I think it's like a glossier kind of finish so this is the size of the invite and then obviously it fits. I'm super happy I'm so excited to actually have like a physical copy of our invites like it definitely is starting to feel a little bit more real now than it has done. This morning we received a very exciting parcel as well which is basically just the rest of our invites. So these ones are from mycards.co.nz which are really great for um, coloured envelopes. So I thought I'd open them on camera even though they're literally going to be the same as the ones I've just shown you. So they come packaged all nice. And bubble wrapped as well which is great looks like it's um between two cards again and then they've obviously packaged all the envelopes together which is great um i'm not gonna open this on camera just because um i am actually catching up with hannah tomorrow who you guys would have met in my last wedding vlog and she is gonna help me write everyone's names on the invites and help me write everyone's names on the envelopes but i'm super happy with all of them there's 60 of these as well so i will obviously carry on this vlog tomorrow so i do want to drop a few off to friends that actually live here um or friends at church um and then for any of our family members that don't live in hawks bay we will um just post got some um, to go to aussie as well hello so. friends so as you guys can see this is a different day so it is actually the day after yesterday it's actually a little bit later on in the day but this morning i went to pick up hannah um and we went to the coffee club because hannah was basically doing all the writing on our invites um which i mentioned to you guys in yesterday's part of the video that you would have just watched got them all kind of packaged up and ready so i took a few clips of us doing that so i will pop those clips in now for you
yes they came out super super good um i thought i'd show you guys one as well while i've got them here so this one is monique and oscars i don't know if you can see we've written everyone's names on the front obviously if we are going to post them um then we have got their address written underneath and this is yeah kind of what they look like so yeah they have the name on the front obviously they'll have the address if we're posting i just really like this green color i'm so happy we went with the green and then this is the back here so just very nice and cute and I just think it looks really elegant yeah I have already dropped a few of these off this morning to friends and family um, I'm seeing Monique and Oscar and Anna and David tonight so I'll be able to drop theirs off we have still got a few more that we're gonna drop over the next couple of days before I go to Auckland and then after I met up with Hannah and sorted out those invites and dropped off some of the invites um, I actually just went into town with David like I mentioned earlier in this video we had paid for David's suit and put his sizing and stuff aside David who is one of Phil's groomsmen I don't know if I I think I've mentioned before he's all sorted now and we also went and bought his shoes so his shoes are the same as Phil's shoes which I showed you guys in my last wedding vlog and we don't have too much more to kind of organize before I go to Auckland so at least I'll go to Auckland and be in a good kind of position um, with all the wedding stuff hello friends so it is obviously another day in this wedding vlog as you guys can probably tell by the background i am back home in auckland now so i thought what i would do today is i would go and pick up a couple of the things that i bought on facebook marketplace so i'm gonna go and pick up a couple of those things today something we did actually get online was a wishing well but the person that was selling it to us moved home and then they said that when they moved home it either got lost or it got thrown out so that's a real shame because she said she would put it aside for us and now obviously she doesn't have have it I will have to end up finding another one of those online but I have two other things to go and pick up so I thought I would take you guys along with me so both of the pieces I'm going to be picking up um, I plan to have for our reception hello friends hopefully this angle is okay I just went in and picked up the bits and pieces so they actually had a couple other things that I talked with Phil and we both ended up really liking so I guess I'll show you guys what I actually went there to get I'm not going to be able to show you guys very well, but this Mr. and Mrs. sign, which I think is super cute, um, and it's white, so it'll go with um, some of our decor. It's around $5, and then we also grabbed these. So I don't know what video will go up first, whether it will be my Kmart wedding shop with me or whether it will be this vlog. So if my Kmart wedding shop with me is up, then I'll link it down below, but if not, it's coming soon. But the reason I say that is because this letterboard was actually something that Phil and I were trying to find in Kmart because I think Phil wants to do our dance floor rules on one of them and then we might use another one or something um somewhere else in our reception but they had two of these so we ended up grabbing these and then they have all the letters and stuff here which is super helpful and the last thing i that they had which i thought was quite nice is this please sign our guest book sign if you guys watched my wedding thrift with me then i bought a little like wooden easel which this could quite nicely sit on um, and I really like the calligraphy and stuff on that. So I think that's really nice. I think the signs were like $16 for the two. And then I'm not sure how much this is. But I paid just over $30. I'm going to go to house two where I just have one thing to pick up. But I will catch you guys when I get there. Alrighty. Hello again friends. I don't know if it even looks like I've moved. But I have. I just came back from the second house where I picked up a little. Um, I don't even know if I said. But they're little thank you stickers. Which I thought would be really cute for for our candy bar oh that's quite cute if you guys haven't watched my wedding thrift with me video then that will make this will make no sense but basically phil and i are doing a little candy bar um at our reception instead of doing wedding favors so these little thank you stickers online and i actually didn't realize but they're in the shape of a heart which is literally perfect this hopefully we'll want to focus is what they look like so i just thought they were super cute um and i thought they'd be really nice to like seal people's little bags of lollies that they fill up at our reception again found them on facebook marketplace for like four dollars so yeah super happy with all of this today um i'm gonna drive home and there's one other thing i want to put in this video so i will catch you guys when i film next when hey I guys and welcome to the last little dormant slash day 
of this particular wedding vlog so i had one more thing i wanted to share with you guys and i'm finally able to share it with you so i started opening this box and i wasn't sure if it was my bridesmaid's dresses or if it was something else that i've ordered but turns out it's my bridesmaid's dresses so i thought i would share with you guys what they looked like um so obviously i'll show you guys the colors first so you guys would have seen the colors swatches in the start of this video but i'm literally so happy with them they look so good gold we've got an orange and we've got a maroon so the gold and the maroon ones i got two of my girls measurements for but i'm hoping that at least the maroon and the gold should fit yeah i thought i would show you guys what they look like so i might show you guys the gold one i got the gold one and the maroon one custom made so I, obviously i ordered them from jj's house i ordered these about a couple weeks ago um which i feel like hasn't taken too long to get here actually they feel like quite good quality they've got padding in the cups which is really nice i was a bit nervous for this fabric because it is chiffon so the custom ones they're just called the custom and then gold and then it says jj's house wedding special occasions i really love the the like skirt it's so nice and yeah i'm hoping these will fit my girls I, I feel like i might have to get them hemmed but yeah literally super stoked so yeah all of my girls's dresses are the same um style i think because i ended up custom making them i think two of them were 155 each rather than 130 so i think all up including shipping shipping was very expensive i used a discount code as well because i lived in new zealand so it saved me like 60 dollars but all together i think it cost me just over 400 dollars. i really hope you guys have enjoyed this wedding vlog get excited for another one my next wedding video after this will be my kmart wedding shop with me and haul if you guys enjoyed this wedding vlog please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media it's always linked down below in the description box and if you guys have missed any of my previous wedding videos then i will leave the playlist down below and in the eye as well for you guys to go and check out i'll see you guys in my next wedding video bye